Paul says, those who died before Jesus arrived, and those after, and even in his times, even though they did not know the law, are saved, still based, and they were good. Romans chapter 2, verse 14 through 17. Gentiles can be saved even if they did not know the Ten Commandments. Romans chapter th 3, verses 21 through 26. Justification by faith is for the Gentiles. And there is also Colossians chapter 2, verse 13, verse 13 through 14. All debts have been cancelled by Jesus. He paid it for it all. And there is also the great multitude at the end. There will be millions and billions that will be there among them. And women will be part of it. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9. Women are part of the great multitude. And they are part of the plan of God. To fulfill the plan of God, they must do two things, and that is love thy neighbor and love God with all your heart. Jesus saves us, and even after Jesus died, women completed the law. Even it's hard to understand, but with love you'll understand that everything has a reason, and it all is part of the plan of God. Here, we see a man with the help of a woman passing some obstacles, and she pushes the boxes, and God is there helping her. Know that throughout history, when man couldn't do things, the woman did their part, and they helped man, even though they don't admit it, and even though sometimes they didn't know it. It was something good. For example, times like in the World War II, when the Nazis were persecuting the Hebrew people, there was a small girl, a Polish girl, that was persecuted. And even though a brave woman, she had to do everything to save her. And we know there are many stories like that in the whole story of the World War II. She had to sacrifice herself and lied. She had to scream, kick, and do everything possible so that poor girl would survive and got her to Britain. Sometimes we don't understand that even though we think that women can do, God is the one who helps the women do their part and complete the law. When women, when women still sin and people still sin in this world, the plan of God helps us. Even though in those times like even the mother of Moses, she had to hide her baby and had to sacrifice the pain of leaving her baby and put her in the life of someone else, not knowing what's going to happen. But her faith, just like so many women in the Bible, are the ones who delivered her. Or a mother who wants to put her child inside a school, she had to kick, scream and cry and went everywhere and told everyone, and until she uh, ob she got to her objective and made her son go to that school. Sometimes we don't know how hard for women it is that they have to suffer so much, and we don't make account of all their suffering. But the Lord does, and He's gonna wipe the tears of all those women, and He's gonna save them, even though it's hard for them even to understand it. But men do not know. Sometimes it's better for men to sometimes realize that so much sacrifice has been done by women. And it's not because of their own works, but also because they have to be humble and realize they've been helped. Men are arrogant, but the woman is there so the woman can make the man realize that he needs to follow his heart through God. And needs to find the right way. Jesus saves us. But even the hard decisions and the hard tests the women have to do, they need to look for God and ask Jesus to help them make those hard decisions. So that way, they realize that great things are done if it wasn't for women there 
to help them make them true. Even after the stories we know, women helped men throughout history and did the hard decisions in life and through history so this future can exist. Women can complete the law and do things man can't, like Judah's daughter. In the time the daughter of Judah, she got married to Judah's son. The son died, they were married to the other son and he died and lost the, lo the bloodline of Judah. Afterwards, she had to trick Judah in order to save the bloodline. Sometimes people will not understand that, but she had to do the hard things. And if it wasn't for her, the whole history would have been another one. Genesis chapter 38, verse 26, Tamar was more righteous than him. Genesis chapter 38, verse 26, Tamar was more righteous than him, than Judah. Even if people don't agree, it is the hardships women have to endure to save its people and its family. Throughout history, women had to make those hard decisions and sacrifices to save lives. If it wasn't not for those sufferments and hard decisions people face in life, Judah's bloodline would have been lost. Another other important decisions in the kingdom of Judea and Israel would have not have happened, like David being saved by Abigail. It would have ended in worse situations and moved in the wrong direction. For it will not be those women that made those decisions. The history would have been a different one, and man would have not passed its test. And for women, it will be another story, and perhaps even a worst future for all. But women must know that God is the one who helps them, and they must put good things in God's hands, and must know that it's for a reason that everything happens. And that all glory is given to God, not them. And Esther and Sarah and Rebecca. And all the glorious women in history, they all did their part, and they put things in God's hands, and they loved and had faith. And know that God has their back. Remember that all the glory is from God, and it doesn't belong to women or man. And once you have the power that God gave those women, so they could change that, those moments of life, change the history, they have to return that power to God and thank Him. Know that later He will greatly bless you. And the way is that is to deny yourself. And all good that has happened never happened because of one person or yourself. It happens to God because He let it happen. And all that came from Him goes through you. But for you to do that, you must become that selfless person and must put God above all. Put God above your family, your friends, your money, and everything, and He will deliver you. Even though you don't see the future, or you don't see the end of it, know that sometimes those tests will come, and things will go dark, but know at the end, even though you pass out, He will deliver you and carry you at the end, and He will put you there, even though you didn't notice it. Thank always Him. Thank God and always after you've done all through that. And know that He will give you the blessing and you will not ask for more. And when you do that, you will receive more things. And then you will understand why everything happens. Sometimes people, to do those things, you have to have a new heart. And you have to put your faith and love and all those things in that heart. Like how it says in Ezekiel, Chapter 36, verse 26. The heart of stone will be replaced by a heart of flesh, a feeling in love. Women sometimes have to be cunning like Elijah, to be wise like Isaiah, to be smart like Jacob, just like Abigail was crafty in saving David's life. Those are the hard things women do to save their people. Even though people don't agree, it is all for a purpose. 
Women sometimes need to be crafty, to be astute, to be smart, and to make the smart decisions, to be like Rebecca's trickery, even though people don't agree. Genesis chapter 25 verse 22. In it we see Rebecca sees his children, her twins, jostling, and inquires the Lord. And he explained that the oldest will serve the youngest, and Jacob was the youngest. Later on, we see Yeshua receiving the blessing, and Jacob took the opportunity, and her mother helped him, because she remembered it was God's will, and it had to be God's commandment. Jacob became a nation, and founded the Israelites. Sometimes people won't agree, but if it wasn't for the decision that Rebecca did, and the hard decision she had to do, and the decisions like the woman who adopted the orphan, the widow, what the mother of Moses, what the lady who saved the girl from the Nazis, this world would have not existed, and the future of Israel wouldn't, and the kingdom of Judah and Israel would not have been created, and neither would the state of Israel will exist. That is why women, they fulfill the law, and sometimes man can do it. For the Lord uses women to fulfill his will. There is a purpose for it all, and in the end, it will be revealed, and God will be the judge of it all. After women have laws, Proverbs, powers, and gifts, history shows God gave them to them for a higher purpose and blessed them. God did not do anything and he is not against women. God is the author of the Bible and in it are women and their, her things. And sometimes because of what man and because of women did in history and culture, women have lost those things and don't even know what they are. That is why the way to find them is through love. And they must be smart and make the smart decisions and not be fooled. And what type of law but the law that God uses. And to understand that through experience they will discern that type of wisdom. And they must find that wisdom. And to do it they need to ask God for it. And they must pray and pray and pray and be the woman God wants. But we know the laws in religious services and the suffering women have in all history is part of the plan they must pass just like man in order to achieve to be the people God wants to be his people. That is why the gifts of God are in the Bible. We must read the other part of it. Okay. Irene Abigail, Thibis and Betsafa. Those are the times of the first part of the kingdom of Israel. Later we'll be looking at the exile, but we remember those brave women who did their part and serve, like Abigail, who, if she did not save David, the future would have changed. Like Bethsaib, the mother of Solomon, who his son bowed to her in 1st of Kings chapter 2 verse 18 through 20. And also, like the other young brave lady, that history does not recognize. Like the other uh, brave lady, the woman of Thebes, even though no one knows her name, she did her part. And like all the other women inside the Bible, who are not written, but we know there are accounts of them existing. Like, like Rizfa, the wise woman of Abel, and others that did their part as well.